Hey guys, it's The Raw Kale, bringing you another unfiltered, unscripted, off-the-cuff um, video. Today I kind of want to do a video, again, about sexual energy cultivation, as there's a lot of things coming up for me recently, the past few days with this that I've been working on for a long time, and uh, a few thoughts I want to share that have been very important and instrumental on this leg that's helped me so much, um, and that I've never felt better about it. Um, it's the idea of not avoiding kind of sexual stimuli. It's no secret to anyone that Western culture is hypersexualized. And a lot of people who are kind of trying to cultivate their sexual energy, um, who are on a nofap journey or, or whatever you want to call it or whatever your particular path is. Um, I know in India, you know, Ramacharya is supposed to be complete uh, avoidance of not just sexual action, but uh, also sexual thought. And, you know, even thinking a sexual thought is supposed to be a break in Brahmacharya. But here in the West, you know, a more practical and more applicable thing for the majority of people is I find that not avoiding that is very helpful. And here, let me explain what I mean by that and kind of give a little bit of a short quick, simple, kind of meditative mindfulness thing to, to help with it. So if we walk through and operate kind of uh, avoiding anything sexual in order to kind of harness um, our own personal sexual energy, um, because becoming too uh, sexually excited or aroused, you know, causes us to kind of want to expel the energy rather than harness it and cultivate it. Um, but what I've noticed is that there are things going on behind the surface there. And, and during a process where you're trying to uh, evolve, you're trying to get better, you're trying to work on yourself, it's really helpful to work through those things um, and kind of rewire those loops and those behavior and those thought patterns and how you react to those thoughts as opposed to just avoid, 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 avoid until I get to this many days. Avoid, avoid, avoid until I get to this many days. Because at some point, you know, in, in the culture that we live in, you're going to be exposed to a sexual movie scene or, or something billboards or sexual commercials um, on air ads for Adam and Eve or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever it is. And uh, um, it might end up, you know, you can't run from, from it forever. Also, with that kind of idea, it also implants a degree of fear from these sexual things. Like if you're afraid of seeing them because you're afraid it's going to ruin your streak or make you back to, you know, uh, fall off the wagon or, or, or whatever. Um, so it implants fear and roots that into sexuality and kind of wires them together. So that's not good. That's not what we want. Um, so instead, what I kind of encourage and what I've been doing recently is I haven't been avoiding any of that. Kind of stuff. Of course, you seek it out. You don't it up. You don't say, Here, let me challenge myself uh, and just start um, engaging in all these things that I'm trying to get away from just to prove that they're not affecting me. Um, instead, what I recommend is just don't live in fear. Don't avoid. But like, if, if something comes up, because obviously the purpose, right, is to be able to get to the point where it doesn't really affect you very much. Um, and through this process, you kind of get there. So if something comes up, I'm going to sit with what comes up and feel, hey, how is this affecting me? What is this making me feel? What's really going on? And kind of be quiet, be mindful, and kind of notice what's going on. Um, you know, whatever you feel about meditation or whatever, self-awareness of kind of your emotional states and um kind of patterns that we have ingrained in us, ingrained in us, in our, in our psyches, in our emotional state, in our dreaming state, um, in our soul or heart or whatever you, whatever you want to attribute it to, um, is a very potent way to kind of self-actualize, to kind of become the better version of ourselves, is to be aware of those patterns and then kind of, uh, you know, release their hold on you. So you sit, you become quiet, you say, what's really affecting me when, when this kind of triggers me or this, or this sets me off. Um, and do your best to sit with it and kind of become aware of it. And once you're aware of what it is, just be very conscious and just consciously unclench and consciously let that go. It's kind of like with massage or, um, uh, any kind of meditative or relaxation practice. We, we unconsciously clench all the time, right? And it's usually we have to consciously unclench and relax, and we don't do it enough. So in this kind of process, so anytime something comes up, always um, experience it, be aware.
aware of what it is for yourself so you can get that information and you can kind of deprogram these patterns. Sit with it, accept it for what it is, don't be in resistance to it, but then let it go. Right? Kind of assumption. And that little kind of meditation that you can do throughout your day is going to help you clear a bunch of these patterns and make it a much easier sustaining long life process as opposed to I'm running from it, I'm running from it, I'm running from sexuality, I'm running from this kind of stuff in order to either become better sexually or to self cultivate or whatever your purpose is for kind of um, cultivating your sexual energy or retaining or, or whatever your journey is. Um, so that's been a process that's worked really well for me. Um, I've been using it uh, recently a lot and you know I, I hardly need to use it anymore because I've, I've gotten rid of so many of those patterns and now you know, sexuality is something I have a ton of control over and it's something that can be beautiful and shared or not, or it can be cultivated for, for personal growth and, uh, and power. So thanks so much for listening, guys.